Apparently, apparently, leaving your window open and fapping too much makes you sick. This what happened to me. Because as you all know, a side effect to fapping is a lower immune system. That seems logical to me. I, mo I mostly made that up right now. But that's definitely... That plays a big role in it, you know. So. I don't know. But, I'm audio. This is my glorious channel. And, I should fire people, but you shouldn't. I'm, well, okay. I have to reevaluate some of the things I say, because they might be taken seriously. Don't fire people in this phase. Ever, 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 ever. And, probably don't fire people ever, actually. Um, but as always, there are exceptions that I will go over later. Um, and again, I don't, I don't really have anything to do here, so that's how that goes. Um, no new people either, so let's just talk. Let's chat it up big with Sane. Um, just cause, mostly. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, see, if you like her a lot, like, uh... I'm not gonna be using her, I think I probably already covered that, but... I'll use her periodically to capture people, um, later on in the game. Once she's got 50 health, which is what she has now, she can take hits from just about everybody, and she only needs to take one hit to be able to capture someone, so that's how that goes. A lot of the units, though, that I'll be getting later in the game don't need to be captured. They can be recruited, all t you know, in different ways. Um, you know, I guess, actually, the factions later on in the game, and actually now, these factions that I'm fighting, are much like Sengoku Rants in that once you defeat them, their figurehead goes to your prison. Or, you know, they, like, die or something. Uh, you know, I mean, the first guy doesn't count. Akito doesn't count at all. He's unique, but, uh, all the other ones do, so. Um, I have to remember what I was doing here. Let's see, uh... Roga still has barely any stamina, but his health is full, so I guess we'll just deal with it. Um, oh yeah, Kunagi got hurt bad. Um, I don't like that, but I will keep her there so that... Actually, no, I won't. Let me think. This is okay, yeah, that'll be fine. Um... And here I can field someone else. Senna? Sure, Senna can go there. This is another safety measure type of thing. Um, should be good to go. Let's, uh, get Mario. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get him this time. Um, and then this happens, so it just throws everything off. <laughs> but, uh, I guess they can just trade hits. I, I never think about the long range people that are there. I don't know why, but I did that in the last part too. Or uh whatever, so but here we go, Mario. Um just punch him in the face with your stick. Stab him, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Takes a good hit and Sane goes in for the final hit. And um it's also important on these kinds of fights to, you know, do what I did there. It was the last move. Um, because if there were another move that I had to take, you still have to take that move or you retreat and you lose. And you can capture people on loss, but it's still a loss and it's, you know, that equals wasted time if you ask me. So, uh, what I did is most efficient, but it's not required. And uh, now they're introducing the fat ass. Um, God, he's really not likable at all. I mean... Uh, he's got more fat on his neck than I do on my ass, so that's pretty bad. Um, that's that's not good. But uh, he just eats donuts, and I guess his character is that, you know? Like, you recruit him, and Rogue is like, hey, you're the donut guy. You don't get donuts in jail. And then he's there. And that's it. He, uh, he's got a lot of health, I recall. Uh, his evasion is fuck awful, but why would that be surprising? And I think he's powerful, you know, but his loyalty is really low, and for that reason alone, I wouldn't recruit him, to be honest. Uh, yeah. 
so he's fighting here Aya's fighting here I believe she is still uh, so you know the, the game is basically just showing you that this piece of land is uh, you know it's greatly contested territory so that's how that goes uh, yeah Aya should uh, be getting captured by Gakuren any any time now, um, and then you have to rescue her, and then she'll join you, of course. Um, and I'll actually be actually Hata Daigo is probably going to counterattack me very shortly here. Uh, I probably won't be able to capture him when he counterattacks me because I don't have Sane ready and she's hurt really bad and I mean I might get a perfect matchup with damage you know so that way I can hit him and he'll still be there but I'm pretty doubtful about that that's not very common and uh, I said it before in the last part as well Daigo's evasion is really high so it causes problems um, we'll talk to uh, Sane but you know um, I've already spoken to her here so there's nothing new so I'll just skip all of it, um, and we will move on. Oh, Sane, I don't want to skip all of this. Oh, I guess it'll stop it for me. I should have already known that. Um, there we go. And Mario, to recruit him, you just have to speak to him twice. You know, uh, recruit, not interrogate. I'm, I don't know what interrogating important people like this does. I've never tried it. Um, I don't want to lose them, obviously, but... You just speak to Mario twice, he joins. His loyalty is average, which I still haven't explained, and I will later. Um, but he's a good unit, and typically I use him a lot at the beginning, and then as the game progresses, he falls out, and he's less useful to me, because, you, you know, like I, like I did in Sengoku Rants, I will in this game. You, and you will, too. You'll develop A teams, B teams, C teams, and so forth. Uh, Rogue is obviously a part of the A team, and uh, so is the heroine, unless you split them up to make the B team stronger. Stuff like that. Um, I typically leave Kanagi on defense, I think. But that changes. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. That's, that's way too distant, you know, I can't... Fuck, if I can't even plan an entire episode in these goddamn Let's Plays, let alone a whole walkthrough f through a game. So... <laughs> that's how that goes um, but Mario's cool I like his character a lot It's uh, he's a funny guy so well way more funny than Rogue I mean Rogue is not humorous Rogue is pretty serious so let me click through that because they like to, s to switch in the mandatory clicking dialogue bubbles every once in a while but uh Let's see here. Oh, um, is it already time for this? Okay, part-time girl Namu, I think her name is. I've never said it aloud, and to be honest, I've never read past part-time girl, so we'll see. Um, she's a unit. You can recruit her. She's pretty. She's pretty fuck awful. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but does she look like a fighter? Of course not. Um, she's clumsy, and if you want to recruit her, do this event. Uh, and then be wary that you'll have to do a lot of other events later on to recruit her further, you know. Well, recruit her at all, rather. You're not recruiting her now. You're not actually doing anything now. You're just you're just looking at her. I'm not going to recruit her in this playthrough. Uh, that's for sure, because she's just not worth it. She has one scene, I think, if you care. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I'm not gonna recruit someone for an H scene. Especially not in this game. Maybe in Rand's quest, but not in this game. So that's how that is. Um, well, basically this girl, she just screws up all the jobs that she has. You know, makes a huge mess. Just, just a stupid bullshit that would get anybody fired. And every time you do an event with her, it's basically her getting fired from a job. And, you know, it gets to a point where I'm fairly certain Roga just says, Okay, I'll hire you. 
but I've never done it. I've never recruited her because she's so... And I mean, you, you're you very timed later on in the game. I mean, you don't realize it at the beginning because it gives you this illusion, like, I've got 100 turns to do shit, but you can still only click on one region per turn and do something. She'll take up like eight of those or something. And that's a lot for an entire playthrough. Holy shit, that's a lot of wasted time. Uh, my god, okay. Kendo? I don't know if I aged Kendo yet. That's important. I guess. Did I tell you guys about the age themes with Kendo? First one is Kendo doing whatever. And then there's one if Kendo gets destroyed in combat. Um, and then there's one with her sister. That's all. I don't know if I went over that. I'm pretty sure that I did, but there's a recap. They're all okay. Very okay. Actually, like, 4 out of 10. They're not really, you know... No particular interest in them. The scenes, I mean. And this gym... It's, like, used in one of Barai's <laughs> conversations, and then all of them go to Kendo. Which seems like a waste. I mean, I'm no artist, so... I mean, I've, I can draw a fucking great stick person. Better than anyone watching this video, I promise you. But... I can't draw stuff like that. A really good artist might look at that background and be like, Yeah, man, that's like 10 minutes of work. I could just pop those out, like, no problem. But I look at that and I'm like... Doesn't that seem like a waste that it's only used, like, once in a while for these scenes? It seems like a waste to me. But, uh, it's also pretty ugly, so... I don't really care. I don't know how that stuff works, though, so... Whatever. Um... Yeah, so, there isn't... I mean, again, these characters are more generic, so I don't have anything to fucking say about this person. Um... Other than her stuff later on. The girl who you can get, like, I've said you have to choose between Kendo and another girl, and that other girl I will be recruiting because she's an expert swordsman and is actually cool, uh, that other girl's way more attractive and way more interesting because of the way that she's obtained. Kendo's just handed to you. So. So. That's a little boring. But, uh, yeah. But, it, I, you know, in real life, most people who fight like that don't stay very attractive. Maybe that's a bias I have. Maybe I just don't find those kinds of people attractive. Obviously, I'm talking about Kendo here, and Roga speaking about how she's beautiful and she shouldn't get wounds, etc. Well, I mean, this might be offensive, but I haven't, you know, throughout school when I went, the girls in wrestling were usually pretty buff. I mean, they could break me in half, but they weren't attractive. Same with the girls in softball and shit. It's a little different with volleyball, I guess. Well, no, like half of them in volleyball were. You know, I mean, I'm not... I could go through the names right now, but that's not appropriate. So I'm not going to do it. But my point is that women who partake in lots of physical activity are typically not very good looking just because they're really muscly or bulky. And it's not a bad thing, it's just an opinion thing. So that's how that is. But Kendo definitely would not... Like, her arms are not, you know, she's supposed to practice swords all the time. She's supposed to be a really good swordsman. Well, Roga's arms are pretty small, too. I mean... Okay. I know people don't get huge muscles in real life like they do in anime. Oh my god, it's her H scene. This just happened out of nowhere. But my point is that they, they should be a little more buff than they are, I think, anyway. So... That's really all. I don't even know if I was trying to make a point or anything. Just... Sometimes you just gotta, you know? And, well, I will put someone there so that way they just can't take the territory from me. But I'm not gonna actively defend that one because it's not relevant at all anymore. And... People should be healed up pretty decent. Uh... Alright, I'm pretty positive I'm gonna have to deal with Daigo soon. I'm almost positive about that. I need to figure out... Who has good enough attack? Like, T 
Tomari could hit him alright, but he's definitely gonna miss, because he's a shit unit. Senna, how's she? 37, that's not good enough. Alright, that's who it's gonna be right there. This girl, Kenako, she's gonna do it, and she's gonna be balling as hell when she does it too. Alright, Kunagi, you could go here as well, and then you'll leave, because you're shit. And we're good to go, and we'll attack this place. And I will finally take this from them, and immediately after me taking this, it's going to go... Um, well, Gakuren's going to take the other one that they're fighting over with and Soji. So, that's how that works. Um, I guess Kunagi can just finish these two here, all on her own. No reason not to. Um, she's got to recover health anyway, so I don't mind setting her out. And, uh... There we go. Heita talking shit like he did anything in that fight. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, they're flabbergasted here. I think that, uh, we've taken their territory. Or no, that's when I suppress the school. Um, Ren will make a comment about that. Uh, here we're being introduced to, to Kashin. He's one of the few black characters in this game. Uh, he's really cool. I like the way he looks, actually. You know, like his his costume and whatever, you can't see his facial features more closely and you can't see his body for story elements related to Senna's route. Uh, Kashin will play a very minor role in Kunagi's route, but in Senna's route he's pretty important. So that's how that goes. Um, and you fight him here, you fight him. He's strong, he's a long range unit. Uh, he sounds awesome when he attacks. That's a plus. A lot of characters from the district phase are like that. So. That's cool. But, uh, Kashin. He's an interesting guy. You can't kill him. You can't capture him. Uh. I'll go over his significance as Seta's route in the next phase of the game. Because it's more relevant then. Actually. Because he has story elements in Kunagi's route in the last phase of the game. But they're not really important, you know what I mean? So there. That's how that goes. But uh, I is going to do battle in that contested territory now. I suppose she wasn't earlier, like I had suggested. Uh, and then she's abducted. Not immediately, I don't believe, but eventually. And I have to at least make sure this uh, phase of the game lasts through that, you know? I need to make sure that she gets abducted. I want her to be abducted and raped. That's basically what I'm saying. Um, which sounds weird, but it's required to capture her and utilize her. So I'll see you guys in the next part.